Hello everyone, Bandite here with a new series, the Broken Sword series. I'm starting with game one with the Broken Sword Shadows of the Templars, the Director's Cut. Um, I just wanted to try another point and click adventure game, solving some mysteries and stuff like that. And I thought, why not do the, a Broken Sword series? Well, hopefully I'll finish the series, but let's see what uh, number one has to uh do now i did do some testing to make sure everything sounded great Paris. but let's listen city of love romance and dreams so they say i used to say it too but ever since that day day of the murder i've always associated my beloved paris with death here we go Now, I never played this series before, so I'm anxious to see how this is. Carchon was a media king, a national hero, and one of the most infamous adulterers in Europe. He and his wife Imelda were just one step down from royalty. Whoa, I hate mimes, but unless uh, you hate them, they don't go well. <laughs> Interesting how he came he out of nowhere. Was, the palace of the media king and the ice queen. I pressed the doorbell and set in motion a chain of events which would change my life forever. Yes, what is it? Madame, my name is Nico Collard. I'm here to see Monsieur Carchon. Come up, we're on the first floor. Madame Carchon, it's a pleasure to meet you. Yes, I'm sure. The Ice Queen was certainly living up to her <laughs> reputation. No handshake, okay. Will you be staying for the interview? Mademoiselle, I know little of my husband's business affairs, and I care even less. I certainly have no intention of watching him pour over yet another pretty little journalist. Pretty? You're too kind, madame. Silence, sir. The talented and very beautiful Mademoiselle Collard. Such a pleasure to meet you at last. Monsieur Carchon, I am honored. Oh, I'm sure you are. Call me Pierre, <laughs> please. But I do not flatter you idly. I was a friend of your father. He was a great man. My father, he never mentioned. He and I were very close. And then his death, so tragic. I must... Imelda, your damned cat's in my study again. Another Ming vase, I suppose. Hmm. Excuse me for one moment, my dear girl. You journalists are getting younger each year. Perhaps it's the rest of the world getting older, madame. Oh, that didn't sound that good. Was no cat. That didn't sound good at all. God, what? Monsieur Carson. Oh boy. He's dead. 
I must call the police. You'd better stay here. There was a man. It was the mime. Do you think he... Well, I believe we can rule out suicide, don't you? No wonder they called her the Ice Queen. She would have been top on my list of suspects if I hadn't seen the attacker myself. And if I hadn't come across a couple of murders just like this already. One of the most important men in Europe murdered. And here was I, Nico Coulard, alone at the scene of the crime. Should I wait for the cops or start my own investigation? It was a no-brainer. No brainer. <laughs> the accent is interesting. Okay, move the mouse pointer around the screen to discover areas of interest, which will be indicated by an animating blue circle. When the pointer passes over an object with which you can interact, it will change to an animating icon reflecting the available action. Press the left mouse button to perform that action. Click on the briefcase icon to open your inventory and display the objects that you are carrying. The diary icon to access the diary. The question mark to get puzzle hints and interface help. And the spanner icon to save and restore a game and adjust settings. These icons can be found in the lower section of the screen. Now, we, before we get started, um, I had to play with different screen sizes for this game because it didn't appear appeared weird on OBS and to get like the full screen and everything without any black bars I had to optim you know I, I don't remember which uh, setting I put for the screen size but in order to get a nice view of the game without black bars and everything so if it seems a bit stretched out that's why but yeah, let's continue on. So briefcases, inventory, and objects we are carrying. Diaries, the diary. Question mark is hints and help and spanners to save. Okay. So this is our diary. Okay, so this is basically what we already know. Yeah. That's the hint. This is the... The screen resolution, yeah, I had to do augmented because original and full screen wasn't showing up. It showed up weird in OBS, so augmented just fit the bill. So it'll appear nice and... Let's save the game. See, that's the one I was doing a testing, but... I am creating, making sure that this is a new save. I didn't do much. I was just testing audio and everything with that one. So this is the save I'm going to use for this series. Okay. Let's look around, shall we? The bookcase was filled with obscure first editions. Hmm. Okay. What else is around here? A bust of Pierre Cochon Humble servant of La France. Is there anything else I can click in this room besides going out the door and besides the body? What is that? A ah. small round piece of glass had been cut out of the pane. This was a professional job. Yep. Let's look at this. Pierre Carchon again. His eyes seem to follow me around the room. The killer oh. must have used a ladder to reach the window. He right was here. Long gone. Guess he folded that ladder up, popped it in his pocket, and took it with him. Okay, so that's not much outside. Now let's take a look at the body. Mimes and guns don't usually go together, but I had an idea that this was no ordinary mime. I'd come across this murderer before and written about him. The costume killer, at least that's what I'd called him. I closed his eyes. It was the least I could do for the poor fellow. Hmm. It was one of my hair clips. My favorite, in fact. It must have fallen when I was knocked down. It's 
Is there anything else? Oh, what's Some this? people hate searching corpses for clues. Ooh. Me, I'm okay with it. Reminds me of an old boyfriend. <laughs> okay. Carchon had been shot. Yeah. What's In his this? pocket, I found a ticket stamped Bateau de la Conciergerie. Taking the ticket meant I tampered with the evidence. There was no going back now. Ooh. I opened his eyes. Best to leave the crime scene as I found it. Carchon had been shot. Yeah, we know that. So, do I keep... Okay. Okay, nothing added to the diary. Okay. Is there anything else I need to do? Hmm. So we took the evidence. That's not going to play very well, is it? The police could turn up at any minute. Somewhere there were clues to the murder, and I needed to find them. Mm-hmm. A Louis XIV table with an antique cloth. Imelda had taste. But hey, with a husband that rich, taste is easy. Hmm. What is this? I reckoned that cloth might just turn out to be useful. Oh, what is Even my fingernail wouldn't fit into such a small hole. Even my fingernail. Huh. That's interesting. Imelda had talent, but I certainly wasn't going to tell her that. <laughs> it was a tube of acrylic paint. French ultramarine. Just the color I was after for my bathroom. I'm sorry, I have to go. Someone is... Young lady, what are you doing? Oh, this paint. <laughs> it's my favorite color. For God's sake, keep the damn stuff. Mm. Excuse me, madame. Yes? Um... I am so sorry for your loss, madam. No, you're not. You're a journalist. <laughs> Journalists don't feel sorry. Not true. We shall see. So, her husband took secret boat trips. Did she really need to see the ticket? You're upset, madam. Please take this. That is the lace cloth from the table. What can you be thinking? Wow, okay. The last thing she needed to talk about was paint. Who cares? Why would a mime want to kill your husband? Pierre had plenty of enemies. Half the husbands in Paris for a start. <coughs> oh, wow. How did your husband know my father? I have no idea. You didn't know him? Thierry Coulard? Pierre knew a lot of people I didn't know, most of them women. Hmm. A oh, likely story. Why did your husband send for me? What did he want to discuss? I have no idea. His business was his business. He yeah, never you're a lot of anything. help. No, and frankly, I preferred it that way. This is quite a scoop for you. I suppose you're already inventing the headlines. Just because I am a journalist. Don't patronize me. You're all cut from the same cloth. Do you have any moral sense at all? Hmm. Yes. That's why I do this job. You do it to see your name in print. As if my editor gets the byline, I just do the work. Well, don't expect my sympathy. The police will be here <laughs> soon, madame. Is there anybody you would like me to contact? Family, friends? No, I have no family. Pierre and I were, he was all I had, really. Not much, was it? The dutiful wife, that was my role. 
He never talked, never let me in. I know one thing, madame. What? If you want to find out who killed your husband, then you let me do the job, not the police. Why? How do I know I can trust you? Your husband invited me here today because he needed me. I think he knew somebody wanted to kill him, and hmm. he knew I could help. I doubt it was your database he was after. You're wrong. I was onto his killers already. I am sure of it. Please, you owe it to him. I don't know. All I need is a few more minutes to look around before the police come. You really do have a moral sense, don't you? I trust so few people. And perhaps Pierre really did think that you could help. Of course it wouldn't have stopped him seducing you too. Here, <laughs> take this. It's the key to the drawing room next to the library at the end of the hall. It was Pierre's room. I rarely went in there. I couldn't. I was too scared of what I might find. Uh. Thank you. I promise you won't regret this. Okay. Looks like the diary is blinking. Let's get a bone. Oh, yeah. So this is the new entry. Imelda doesn't trust me very much. Fortunately, she has told to let me investigate her husband's murder. So she did give me the key. Awesome. So this was the key to... Was it the room next door? Or is that outside? That's not outside, is it? I'm not even sure. The door was locked. I have a key. Now we were getting somewhere. Yes, we are. Go right in there. Nico. That's her name, right? Nico Claude. All right, let's do some investigating here. The painting showed the cachons together in love. As the poet said, the past is a different country. Or did I read that in a fortune cookie? <laughs> there was the very faintest of clicks. Okay, what does that mean? I didn't need the lights on. It was light enough already. Okay. This wasn't the time for me to lie on the sofa doing my Marie Antoinette impression. Though it is very popular at parties, especially with gay guys. Don't ask me why. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Interesting. As expected, the desk was yet another priceless antique. Yawn. The blotter and ink had clearly been placed with <laughs> mathematical precision. Oh, I like her already. I didn't need a sheet of blotting paper. Not while it was blank. Mm. My heart skipped a beat. It was a carved elephant. But not just any carved elephant. It had been made by my father. I knew for certain oh. because in my apartment I had its exact twin. Carved into a box he had made. So Carchon had known my father. They really must have been friends. I decided to take the carved elephant. It clearly meant nothing to Imelda. <laughs> yeah, let's just take the carved elephant. I didn't want to take the tray, but I knew that I could use it. Oh, wow. I didn't want to take... Okay. I didn't need a sheet of blotting paper. Is there nothing else I can click? Okay, let's get back. Did I click everything in here? Let's see if we can go into this room. Should be open, right? Locked. Not surprising, really. Let's work on that. It didn't work, but I guess it would have been surprising if it had. Oh, come on. Can we pick the lock? Eh. Is there anything else we need to look at in here? I think I clicked everything. 
Ah, finally. Behind the picture was a safe. The safe was locked. I needed the key. It was the wrong kind of key. Oh, can we pick it? The safe's lock was too secure for me to pick. How come it always works in movies, huh? <laughs> okay, so we do not have the key to that. That's interesting. So let's see. There was no one I needed to phone. Not until I had solved this case. I wonder if she can give me another lock. Did you find I mean, another key. Useful? This carving. Do you know anything about it? It was Pierre's. What does the statue have to do with? Please, I need to know. He was given it by a friend. Something to do with Africa. He never explained any more. No. But I think it was important to him. Always on display. Why? It was carved by my father. Oh, I see. I didn't know. Just one thing. I know this is going to sound strange, but did your husband ever mention, did he ever talk to you about a penguin? Or a snowman? What? I don't understand. He never mentioned people dressed up as penguins. Nico, I don't know what you're talking. My dear, you should go before the police arrive. There will be many awkward questions. I am grateful that you stayed. You've been so kind. Please, call if there is anything I can do. I'd misjudged her. She had every reason to be bitter, living with a guy like Carchon. From the sound of it, no one and nothing was safe around him. Hmm, maybe I should have interrogated the cat after all. Hmm. That's interesting, and she doesn't have anything else to... I thought of leaving, but was sure there was more to find. Yeah, obviously I'm missing something here because... Imelda had talent, but I certainly wasn't going to tell her that. Is there anything I missed? Hmm... I thought I got everything. Was there another key on him? That might be interesting to see if there was another key Claire on him. Carchon was stiff for the last time. I can't pick his pocket. I know he was shot, but I need to know if I can pick his pocket. Hmm. Missing something, yeah. Small hole in the table. Ah! There was a small hole a in the table. A magnificent antique table. What do I do with the small hole in the table? Um... Uh, no. Aha! Ooh! Nico, you are just so damn good at this stuff. Okay. Take Instead that. Of comforting Imelda, I was ransacking her flat. Why? Because there was something going on here, and I had to get answers before the cops arrived. And hey, she'd been rude to me, so she had it coming. <laughs> That's awesome. Okay, that's cool. So that might go in the safe, I'm assuming. Hmm? I think so. Let's go back in there and see. No? Are you kidding me, man? Oh, there we go. Oh, 
what is that? Some kind of artifact. There were strange symbols on its surface. It looked like the printer's blocks I'd made at art school. If there was one thing I'd learned about symbols, they are always important. But these symbols scratched into stone were impossible to read. I needed to find a way of printing them. At least the stone was round. But what could I use for ink? The and paint. What could I print on? Sure, the cloth. I was dealing, but I knew Imelda didn't know about the artifact, and Carchon was past carrying. Ooh. Okay. So let's go to the table. Let's lay out the. Oh. The blotter was flat already. Rolling the cylinder across it would achieve nothing. The paint would have just soaked into the blotting paper, but the idea was good. What? Um, no. Um, no. <laughs> Um, no. So I just need paper. Oh! Could we go to the, um, the, well, will that work? I didn't need a sheet. Hmm. Well, why wouldn't this work? Um, no. So do we need to... there and we don't have the key to this place locked not surprising really does will this work or is that only for the nope ah uh. huh what if we use the painting could that work Melda had tapped, but I certainly wasn't going to. Yeah, we know you didn't want to tell her that. Or maybe we can do it on this table. Okay, let's put the cloth down. No? Even my fingernail wouldn't fit into such a small hole. Yeah, but. We need somewhere to put this stuff. What is the hint saying? Some, some. Hmm. Let's save this. Ah, oh, it won't even let me save yet. Oh. Oh, there it is. Okay. So where do I go with this? Let's check this room again. Is there nothing I can grab on this table? Nothing? Hmm. That definitely isn't what I wanted. Oops. Hmm. It contained rows of titles I didn't recognize. But so we can't like grab like a sheet of paper or anything? I'm so confused. Hmm. I wonder why it won't let me like lay down the desk or anything. Or maybe I should go talk back to, uh... Um, no. Uh, no. Um, no. Nothing's working. The blotter was flat already. Rolling the cylinder across it would achieve nothing. Uh, no. Um, no. 
paint would have just soaked into the blotting paper, but the idea was good. Okay, let's go back to the painting easel. I wonder if it'll let me do it that way. If I just stand by the easel and do it that way and see what happens. No. It's not giving me an option to do anything with it. Oh my gosh. Can we talk to her again and see what happens? Madame Cachon, uh, please call me Imelda. We hardly need the formalities now, do we? Did Mr. Cachon say nothing to you about my father? No. I'm sorry. He never mentioned him. Mm. She'd know I'd broken into her husband's safe if I showed her the artifact. That's true. That would have been insane. Well, I'm trying to think. Thank you. Let me give you the key back. I didn't need it anymore. Okay. Imelda might not have been so cool with me poking around if I'd shown her the key I'd found. Yeah, true. Would you like to see my favorite hair clip? What a ridiculous <laughs> question. Of course not. <laughs> Another time, I guess. <laughs> Would you like to take the elephant back? No, my dear. You should keep it. Okay, well, there's nothing else to ask her, so... I was sure that there was more to find. I just had to keep looking. But where? There was no one I needed. I'm obviously missing something here. What am I missing? What am I missing here? And that, but I said. Yeah, you wasn't gonna tell her that. We know. Just don't know what to do. I'm trying to think. I thought it was a brilliant idea that uh, I used that, but hmm, I guess not. That didn't go too well. Hmm, because I thought. Combine to oh okay I didn't know you can do that ah putting the paint straight on the cylinder would be too messy hmm. the paint would go everywhere okay uh no so what then hmm uh no the ticket could be a clue. So, best not to trash it. <laughs> I'm trying to figure it out here. I smeared the paint all over the cloth. When I do messy, I really like to put my heart into it. I hope this was going to help. They don't make lace like that anymore. Okay, and then we drag it I to wiped that. I the paint-covered cloth over the surface of the stone cylinder. It took me right back to art class at school. Ah, nice, my gorgeous art teacher. Such a shame they had to fire him. Ah, well, concentrate, Nico, concentrate. Yes, Nico, concentrate. Okay, now let's go back. I was wondering, I was like, I didn't know you can combine two items, so that was a nice hint. Thank you, game. Now we can go to the table and make, hopefully allow us to make a print of this, finally. Ah, here we go. Genius. The roller and the paint worked just as I planned. 
But what did it say? It was some kind of coded message. It read, huh. Sub Judici. I may not have learned a lot as a journalist, but that was a term I knew well. It means a legal case that is before the courts. Hmm. You know, it was Interesting. a sequence of letters that made no sense. I suddenly realized there was a connection between the boat ticket and the coded message. The boat ticket was stamped Bateau de la Conciergerie. The Conciergerie on the Ile de la Cité by the river housed the ancient law courts. Oh, okay. So, Subjudice could, in this case, mean literally under, under the law, law courts. courts below the conciergerie. I was pretty sure I'd found all I could here. And besides, all this opulence was making me pine for my regular life of poverty. This was a huge story. It was also one heck of a puzzle with a lot of pieces missing. But I was going to crack it. And if I could just remember the name of that fancy prize you get for being an ace journalist, I was definitely going to win it. Pulitzer? <laughs> nice, so we have that. And then we have it added to the diary. And Chaconse found a stone cylinder with symbols carved on the surface. Got it imprinted and found that it contained a coded message. Sub DG say S D S S D S S. First the case is under the description of the court, but what about the letters? Who's carrying the boat ticket? So basically what we just went over. So we gotta go literally under the concierge. Huh. That's good to know. That's very interesting indeed. Now, do we talk to her about it, or do we leave her alone? Imelda, I will do everything I can to Oh, okay. You. Thank you, my dear. And if the police ask, don't worry. You were never here. Subjudice was the key. I was going to have to find a way under the conciergerie. I decided to head straight for the quayside on the Ile de la Cité. If there was a way of getting under the conciergerie, it would have to be from there. Hmm. Interesting. An hour later. Canchon wasn't the type for messing about on the river. He was up to something down here. Something that got him killed. Well, okay, that will end episode one of Broken Sword Shadow of the Templars, Director's Cut. I'm actually really enjoying this game and I want to know where this leads. So I'll definitely post this up and I'll continue on and I'll definitely see you guys next time. First, let's save here and make sure that it did save. Good. And I would definitely see you guys next time. Don't forget to comment, subscribe. Let me know what you think about this game if you've already played it. Please no spoilers. Okay, I'm out. Have a good day, guys. Bye now.